what's up and welcome back to another video it is thursday it's one o'clock in the afternoon i'm getting a late start today i'm on an appointment canceled which didn't matter because it rained all morning it stopped around noon so you know when it rains that that kind of puts a a damper on your day um because you can't work in the rain so um it is what it is uh we'll get that we'll catch that appointment another day we have a toyota matrix we're going to work on at the car lot today um it has two front struts and i think two out of the four exterior door handles came in so we'll probably replace those two door handles and uh, that's pretty much how we got today. That, that, that's it's gonna be a very quick and easy day. <laughs> um, you know, today's just real slow. We we got uh, bar rain coming. I think around four. So as long as I get these appointment this appointment done before the rain comes, then I'll be pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, that's what we got going on. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're here. We're at the Toyota Matrix. Um, I'm waiting on the keys to show up. So for now, what I did was I got the wheel jacked off the ground. Um, I'm gonna pull the wheel off and take apart what I can, you know, the bottom part of the strut. And then when the keys get here, we'll pop the hood and disconnect the strut from the top. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, so basically I got a floor jack under here. And what I'm gonna do with that is use that to relieve and pressure off of here, off the strut for the sway bar. When I take that apart, it'll make it a lot easier rather than sliding the floor jack over here. So uh, that's why I got the floor jack under there. Alright, get our axle nut up there. Okay, use a punch to punch this axle. Just kind of punch it in a little bit. Now 14 millimeter. Just gonna release the brake line off the strut. We got a 17 millimeter nut. I can break that loose with a ratchet. This is where that floor jack comes in handy. Let's go now. Yes. Yeah, probably. If that floor jack wasn't there, that's this sway bar link wouldn't just pop out like that. That's why I got it there. This might be 24. No, it's 22. All right. How key showed up just the time. So we're gonna crack these 22s out of here, and then we'll be done down here, and we'll move up top and get the three bolts at the top of the strut. And it'll be able to switch this out. All right. Let's see if we can take some pressure off of here. Got that bottom one out. This top one out. There we go. Drop it down. All right. All we gotta do is go up top. All right, so these are going to be 12s. And we're just going 
just going to remove these nuts. And you're going to want to hold the strut on this last one because it will fall. Pull it out. And leave that bracket there. Alright, so we have our old strut here. We're going to open up our new struts and you just want to compare them make sure they look alike you know or at least look like it's gonna work So this is your right, and then this is going to be your left. So yours might be labeled like mine. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. So it has an R for right, and that's the side we're working on. Right is passenger. So now we just compare it. Let's wave a bracket here. Brake line bracket there. Everything looks good. Okay, so we look good. Now we just go reinstall it. Let's just gotta turn this stud the way we need them. We are going to use our new hardware. I just put that one there to hold it so I can go get it. What I like to do with these is I just like to snug them and then when everything's put back together and the weight of the vehicle is on the ground, then I tighten these up. There's a snug for now. Let's go back to the bottom. All right, so we'll stick this steering knuckle in first. Looks like the perfect height already. <laughs> yeah, to that. So there's no alignment adjustment on these, however, I like to push the top of the rotor here in as I'm tightening and that kind of gets the camber in a happy spot. and lock in our washer or our nut, actual nut. Alright, so I lowered the jack to put pressure on the sway bar link. And now we can get our sway bar link in. Or get pressure up the sway bar, I should say. back all 
Alright, and that's going to wrap it up for this strut. So we'll put the tire on, move on to the next side. These are done. Move on to the door handles. All right, so now I got the two rear door handles to do in this car, and then we will be wrapping this job up. Um, so we're gonna remove this inner door panel, and then we got a Phillips screw back here and right here. And I think the rest is just clips. Use a pocket screwdriver to flap this open. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Got this one in the door pocket here. Fill up the screw there. And then this fill up screw here.
just using a flathead screwdriver to uh, pop this door panel off. This might have to come out. Let's find out. Yeah, it does. Just make sure you remove that. plug for our light switch back here use our pocket screwdriver to release our tab and that's the plug there's like a little tab here you push in releases it all right we're interested back here so we're gonna go through here all right so hopefully you can see it uh there's a torque screw here. It looks like maybe a 25, I'm not sure if it's a T25 or a T30. Maybe a T30. All right, so it is a T30. I'm gonna loosen this up. All right, so the thing I'm not sure about, I know there's a T30 screw there, but there's another one for this piece here. And I haven't figured out how to get to that screw yet. So I'm gonna keep looking. All right, so I think what I'm gonna try is removing the latch assembly and dropping it down. And I think I'll be able to sneak through this hole here. And then we should be able to get to the bolt tool on the T30 uh, screw. So I'm gonna try that. Just so we can get through here. Perfect. piece out. I think that's it. Alright. Show you what I did. Right, so honestly, I don't think you have to mess with that disc Torx here. You might not have to mess with that. Um, but you definitely need to get to that one. And do that, you can get it through this uh, where the latch goes there. You just gotta drop the latch down. It's not a big deal. Um, and then you just take your new handle snap it in like that then uh, put this piece in it should just snap in and then retighten that screw and reinstall everything take this screw which I don't think we even needed to mess with find out on the other side kind of hold that other handle piece on to get like I guess the doorway tightness and that's it put our latch back put our door panel on we done Don't forget to plug your latch back in. And you can just stick this back on there. Alright, put our door panel back on. Plug in our switch. Clip snapped in. Feel good. Test out our door latch. Works good. Put our pocket back in here. Done. Get our Phillips screwdriver.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna knock out that other side. Um, if you're don't, trying to do this at your house and you're doing both sides, you're just gonna repeat the same procedure on the other side, so. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up today. Uh, I think that took me maybe about two hours to complete that job. Um, not a bad job at all, it was a, a good, good little job. Um, but that's how we got today, so I'm headed back to my office. I have two estimates I still got to send through to uh, two of my clients for future jobs. They're going to uh, call me another time when they're ready. But, I mean, that's pretty much all I got left to do today is my, the two estimates and I'm done. So, um, if you're still hanging in there, thanks for watching this video. Um, it wasn't really how-to tutorial video just kind of you know these aren't really how-to tutorial videos I mean I kind of show you how to do it but it, it's more to give you just an insight on what it's like you know being a mobile mechanic so if you are uh, enjoying this kind of content hit that like button for me let me know um, if you have any questions about being a mobile mechanic uh, hit me up in the comments. I'm always checking the comments and replying. So, um, you know, if there's anything you want to ask me, uh, feel free. And uh, just thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.